Good morning, John. So if you listen to Delete This, which I'm just going to assume that you do, you know about a thing that I call Twitter holes. Basically, it's a quote tweet of someone's quote tweet of someone's quote tweet, and they all have the same format, and you can go down and down and down, deeper and deeper and deeper into the hole. Until eventually you like actually arrive at like the progenitor tweet hole tweet. Which is pretty cool. I know you know nothing about this because you're not on social media. And I was just a part of the popularization of a Twitter hole, and I know this because of my replies right now. Which we'll just call the five jobs. Twitter hole. You just list five jobs you've had and then ask, what about you? Successful Twitter things are interesting to me because they give me a chance to, like, ask the question, like, what do we find rewarding about this? What service is being provided? Why do people add to a Twitter hole? Well, in this case, I think a lot of the service is being given a chance, an opportunity, an excuse to talk about yourself, which we all like to do. But also, there's another service here, a chance to see what other jobs people have had. A little bit of a glimpse, though an incomplete one, into the paths that life has taken people on. And look, I don't love that paid labor is, at the moment at least, one of the most important things that we use to define ourselves, but that's the situation we're in. Work is very commonly a huge part of people's lives and of their identities. This gives people a chance to like write a very quick and easy little mini biography of themselves, reflect on the past, and it gives everyone else a glimpse into like what might have been or what might still be. I just don't think it does a good job of that because it's like the most simplified version of this possible. John, you may not have noticed this because I'm not sure I did, but back in 2007 I started being done with a camcorder and then over the course of a number of years became the CEO of, at one point or another, four different companies, and that's if you don't include 2D glasses. I don't really know how this happened. I was too busy at the time to pay attention. I've had a bunch of jobs like research assistant, quality control chemist, Walmart associate, production assistant, various things. But my first office job was boss. I don't like to talk about this too much because a lot of my employees watch my videos, but I had no idea what the frick I was doing. I didn't have time to figure it out. All I could do was like pay attention to how like the audience was doing, how the financials were doing, how the team was doing, and choose on any given day which of those things was going to be the most important thing to me based on nothing. I certainly wasn't going to go to business school. I didn't have time for that. I also don't know how applicable it even would have been to my work. But it's still important to think about and understand this weird structure that is imaginary and yet also is like the foundation of a lot of how value gets created by humans today. In my office, we've been working on like a business crash course that isn't business school. It's what we're calling soft skills. We've been working on it for a few months and people keep like walking in the meetings after working on one of these videos and saying like, why didn't anyone explain this to me? Which is kind of funny because like it's exactly what we're trying to do. It's just that we had to be the ones to do it, I guess. How to build trust, emotional influence, communication, negotiation, job job hunting, interviews, all kinds of stuff. There's lots more on the way. This is gonna be a bigger part of the average person's life than, like, chemistry. Though I still think you should learn chemistry, it's great. But also, we should learn about this stuff. I am a CEO, and I am learning stuff with every episode, which is something that is, like, at once a little embarrassing, but also something that I'm kind of proud of. Because no matter what job you're on, there's a lot to learn, and maybe more than you're gonna learn from a Twitter hole. And also, the whole series together, is a lot shorter than Endgame. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.